if you haven't already, go watch some of my 100% Biga videos. Today, I will show you how to make it by hand. Inside of a large bowl, mix the biga by hand and allow it to rest for 30 minutes long. This is gonna let the flour and water hydrate. Now take the dough from the bowl and knead it until it becomes smooth. This will ferment at room temperature for 10 to 12 hours overnight. Cut the biga using scissors. Add the salt, water, and start to mix the dough by using your hands. The goal here is to break the biga up. So that means you have to go back with the scissors to cut it up into smaller pieces because this gluten structure is tough and this recipe is not that easy. This recipe has 20 minute resting intervals to allow the dough to hydrate over time. And each kneading process should take around three minutes long. Don't worry, the dough will come together. The recipe and steps are at the end of this video, so don't forget to watch all the way through. Once your dough comes together in one solid mass, these stretch and folds come in handy for strengthening that gluten structure. And these slap and folds will help smooth that dough out. As soon as this mass starts to look like a nice pizza dough, I transferred it to a clean bowl, where then I will start my tension folds. I weighed these dough balls out into 270 grams each. I used a little bit of flour to help the dough not stick to my hands. And after shaping, it's completely up to you. You can let these dough balls double in size at room temperature, but what I did is let them sit outside for 30 minutes and place them in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours. Now this dough will feel more gentle to the touch because it's not as strong as a mixer made biga dough. So be gentle while stretching and allow all of that air to sit inside that puffy crust. Today I decided to make a delicious white based pizza with fresh ricotta and mozzarella cheese. And I happen to be using my favorite new Totoven electric pizza oven to bake this beauty. An oven, sleek in design, imported from Italy with those thick biscotto stones, this pizza cooks with little effort for myself and reaches up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. The oven keeps all of the steam inside, something very special and uncommon with Neapolitan pizzas, but yields the perfect crust. This oven ships worldwide from pizzagoods.com. And don't forget to use code JULIAN10 for 10% off. The steam from that oven allows you to get that oven spring for this puffy crust. 
And for a hand mixed version of this 100% Biga dough, I'm really impressed for how this pizza came out. I topped the pie with arugula and this brazaola, which is an Italian salami made from beef and then some shaved parmigiano and extra virgin olive oil to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed this video and top quality content. Don't forget to share with every pizza lover you know, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go check out my Instagram where I post daily videos inside a professional kitchen. There's a lot of pizza content behind the scenes that I don't want you guys to miss out. See you in the next video.